Hi, my name is Joachim and I'm a senior analyst in the Thomson Reuters Oslo office. Today, I would like to tell you about our midterm price forecast for the Nordics. The midterm forecast covers the front month, front quarter and front year for the Nordic power traded futures. When it comes to power, the Nordics is a strongly hydro driven price area where the water values play a key role in determining the power price. To forecast prices in the Nordics, we need to take into account the hydrological uncertainty and this is where the SDDP model excels. By modeling all parts of the power system, like generation, exchange capacity, and combining them with our knowledge of weather conditions and the reservoir features, we are able to predict the power balance with high accuracy. Our benchmarks show that if you follow the buy-sell signals from our SDDP model, you would be making money if you were trading futures against delivered prices. This gives traders, production planners, consumers and others a reference price to compare their market opportunities against. Let me show you how it works. So today we're going to show you how to find the STDP midterm price forecast for the Nordics. Looking into how to get to the Nordic midterm power price forecast, we're starting at the Continental Europe page for energy power and then we're navigating down to Nordic. On the Nordic page you find the Nordic power futures in the overview. But to study our forecast for these uh, futures, we go to analysis, forward and then the STDP report. In this page we find the STDP forecasted prices for the Nordic power futures. On the first line we see the STDP mean and in this case for September contract we have a price that is quite close to the North Pole close of the day when the forecast was created. The day after the, the price is trading a bit lower and even closer to the STDP mean. You can also study the, the uncertainty and the, the distribution of the outcomes in the chart and you can study the details of the reservoir fillings and the power production assumptions taken from the model. The STDP model relies on automatic signals. In this case, the October contract traded at 31.3, which is exactly the same as the STDP mean. In the case of the front quarter, which is 31.8, the market is above the mean but still under the 75 percentile, which means our outlook automatically sends a neutral signal. If the market was above the 75 percentile, the forecast would demonstrate a bearish signal. With automatically generated signals, it is convenient to have a clear and unbiased forecast among bearish, bullish and neutral signals. From the link below, you can download the front month profit and loss benchmark report, which is generated automatically by the STDP model. The PDFs are found in the bottom of the weekly published report. You can also study more details on the price forecast pages where you will find the price forecast for each individual price area in the Nordics. However, today I want to show you how the price inflow plots work. And this is where the, you can study the effect of the changes to the hydrological situation. The plot shows you for each of the front contracts how that contract would be affected by changes to the hydrological situation. On the middle of the chart you will find the forecast mean, which is showing both the mean price but also the mean inflow expected taken from the forecast. The rest of the chart shows you what happens if the inflow should deviate from the forecast mean. In the case where it gets drier, we are moving towards the left on the chart and you see how the price points are moving towards a, a steady line. However, if you go towards the wetter end of the scale, you see how the, how the forecast disperses out and spreads out into prices that are significantly lower than the expectation. In this case, the forecast is moving from 
31.3 all the way down to 24 euros for the wettest scenarios. The shape of this forecast will depend strongly on the time of the year and the current hydrological situation. In the situation where the reservoirs are full and we're already at the maximum capacity, the price effect will be much bigger than in a case where the hydro producers are under control. For the front quarter, however, we see that the effect is not that significant for the current hydrological situation. The response on the left side and the right side is more linear. So the risk on the upside and the downside is more equal. For the frontier, we also have a lot of flexibility in how the power producers can adapt. So even if there is a lot of hydrological uncertainty shown by the big differences between the lowest numbers and the highest numbers, there is also a big room of uh, maneuvering for the hydro producers. Yet the prices range from the highest prices of, of around 40 down to the price of below 20 for the year contract. Also at the bottom of the page, you can study all the details of the STDP price forecast on the price forecast pages. In these pages, you will find a section including the all of the Nordics. And in this section, you will find both the price inflow plot just described but also more details on the hydrological system, the thermal system, and also in some cases we do scenario runs showing the effects of, let's say, increased exchange capacity to Germany, uh, nuclear phase-out, uh, different scenarios. We also show a full price forecast for each of the individual price areas. The price areas are organized by country so that under each country you can see how the area price deviates from the system price for that price area. That's all we wanted to show you today, but if you have any questions, don't hesitate to get in touch with us. You will find the contact details on our pages for the Oslo office in ICON. Thanks for watching. Thank you.